Yeah. Yeah, we're on. All right, man. Shalom. Shalom. Giving all praises um to Yahawa. Yeah, um, yeah, man. Just post camp um here with the brother Yakao and um, the brother Amawan, man. And I'm just gonna get into a couple of precepts, man. And double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who taught us his truth, man. Can't. Yeah, that's right. You know? Yeah, man. And you know what? We start with that. Um, you know what's it called? I send you pastors, Quinn's Mark. Oh, yeah, can't. Do you want the scriptures? Um, yeah. You know? Start with that one first. Yeah. There's nothing that we. Well, well, what we have, we have to. The Bible tells you to hold fast to it, innit? Mm. Uh, um, but we needed teachings, man. Okay. And when you, I'm, I'm telling you, it's a slippery slope when you start to disrespect the people that taught you. Yeah. You know, They're very slippery slope. Very slippery. <laughs> yeah. We see many of our man be destroyed in this truth because of that. Okay. You know. So uh, we're, we're just warning you, Aqua and Akim and Aqua. Mm. You know, uh, you, you, you know, you have to um, pay. Uh, What's the word? Respect. Respect and honor, man. And respect and honor to the people that have taught you, man. That's right. Yeah, because the, these are these these uh what are the these reprobates out there say that we worship it we worship the apostles, man, but it's not it's not worshiping them, man. It's just giving them the the, 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 the respect that's due. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the respect that's due, that's right, man. Cause when you get into that word respect, it means to look back, man. You know? Oh. And, and and to have some sort of like, you know, um, like gratitude onto that man because you look back and it was all the people that's talking shit there's nothing you can look back on them for man they ain't done nothing yeah you know but when you look mm. at when you look back at what the apostles have gone through you know what they've labored through for all the years yep. and the diligence they've given it's nothing but respect for those men you know it, and they actually have a body of work that you can look back on and respect them for you know um Bring this out. Yeah, go on. Man. Yeah. Jeremiah uh, three and fourteen. It says, "Turn back, O backsliding children," saith the Lord, uh -huh. "For I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which thou, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding." Yep. There you go. So they fed us with knowledge and understanding of this truth. And, and life, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because the kind of examples that, especially Apostle to Heart comes out with, mm. it just, you know, sometimes the knowledge just blows my mind. Mm. Man. You know, I'm thinking, wow, but, you know, and you know, there's a saying, you are as good as your teacher is, mm. you know? Mm. Well, that, that's not actually, actually true, but at the end of the day, we're giving um, uh, honor towards them, man. Because mm. they've, they've labored and took, not taken any breaks. Mm. Unlike um, some people in this in, in this truth now, can that goes for all of the apostles, man. You Can't. know, they've 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 gone through a lot, man. You know, they've gone through a hell of a lot, and as as they're still standing, they're still going, man. Like the apostle Kabba said last week at the camp, mm. like you know, the only way he's gonna stop is if the Lord has you know, the Lord has to kill him, man. You yeah. know, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, man. You know, Can't. there's there's nothing except the Lord returns and brings that salvation which we're looking forward to. You know, if not that, the only way they will stop is if they put to death or they die, man. You know? That's it, man. Quick, quick precept. Yeah, go on, up. Uh, I'm get you on there. First Timothy 5 and 17. Uh, Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy uh, of double honor, uh, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. That's that's why we say double honors to the apostles and the elders at, at Great Millstone, man. Uh, you got a lot of guys, they'll just be opening and saying double honors, they don't know even they don't even know the scripture, man. They ain't heard that before, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Double honors to the yeah, but yeah. Where, where's that in the scriptures? They would they wouldn't be able to tell you, man. Yeah, it's you know, birds, it? you know, read that one more time up, Bubba Kusha. Uh, uh first Timothy 5 and 17. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, mm. especially they who labor in the word and doctrine, especially those who labor. You know, and as your car was getting into, man, they've been through so much. They have well laboured in the truth, man. Can't. You know? That's it. And, and they're still labouring, man. We were talking about at camp today, all right? We were rebuking our women that are not right, mm. all right? But in when we are teaching and we're rebuking our people, all right, we're doing it based upon experience. 
where and and we say the things that we're not doing. That's right. I can't say, listen, you should stop committing adultery, but I'm committing adultery. Yeah, yeah we brought it out at the camp that scripture as well, yeah. where uh, it says, um, you want to take the moat out of your brother's eye. Oh yeah, let's get that. That's then. it. Yeah, man. that's the spirit. Let's get that. Yeah. Uh, Matthew seven, and I start at one. It says, "Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with that, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. Mm. And oh, with man. what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Mm. And why beholdest thou the moat that is in thy brother's eye, mm. but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye?" Go, man. You know, you want to break it down? Break it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't. Yeah. So it says, um, you know, you've got there's a moat in um your brother's eye, but you're 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 trying to take the moat, which is what a small matter, and you've got a beam in your own. So you know, meaning that you've got some fucked up shit going on, major fucked up shit going on. But you're just trying to correct the next man. It doesn't work like that, man. Yeah. You know? And then we read, early, uh, as Amwan just read, a little bit above, you know, a couple of verses above where it said, um, um, with what measure you meet, it shall be measured unto you. All right? Because you can be so harsh getting onto people, not realizing it's that, that that same way you judge people, that's how the Lord's going to judge you, man. Yeah, the same, the, the yeah, same severity yeah. you judge other people, that's how the Lord's going to deal with you. Yep. You know? Mm -hmm. And he's the master judge. He's the master ruler, man. So how much more severe, you know, is that punishment going to be on you, man, or me? But as uh -huh. as your car was saying, we don't um if we're saying something, mm. we're gonna first, you know, if we're doing it, we're gonna first correct it. So we're gonna first, if it's a sin, we're gonna first stop it, man. Yeah. And, but so that's what yeah, I'm saying. Read on. So I tell you why, man. Go on. It says uh, verse four says, "Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat of the, out of thine eye, mm. and behold, a beam is in thine own eye." Mm. It says, "Thou hypocrite." Right, and that's the point there, man. Yeah. That's what you are. Mm. Yep. That's one of the worst things you can be is a hypocrite. Mm. It says, first mm. cast out the beam of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat of thine out cast out the moat of thy brother's eye." Mm. So, like the, the, the brother you just said, man, in order for you to, uh, to, to 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 deal with your brother accordingly, you have to sort yourself out first, man. Mm. You have to yep. clean your own house, man. Before you start trying to get involved in someone else's, yeah, it's just, it's just like if, if someone's uh, addicted to smoking or whatever. Like, say I'm addicted to smoking, but and I, I, I smoke, but then someone else is smoking. I'm telling them not to do it. Mm. It's uh, being a big hypocrite, man. That's right, and that's what um, a lot of the parenting that we got um, in this country, you know, so-called England from West, so-called West Indians, West Africans. There's a lot of hypocrisy in it. Well, that's everywhere, man. Yeah. But but with our people, it's kind of like, I don't know, man. You, you could even, you could even look, tell them the hypocrisies and put it on a plate and, and approve it and they still won't, won't um, what's the word, say sorry or, do you know what I mean? Mm. They're very stiff, stiff necked. Stiff -necked yeah. yeah, stiff necked, man. Mm. Well, the scriptures tell us about, uh, you know, being stiff-necked and hard-hearted, man. Yeah. You know. Is there more in that? Yeah, that's something there. Anything? No. Yeah. Any other, do you want me to get anything else? Um, who was on a... What was the one with um, Double Honours? Did we finish that one? You know, we didn't bring that out. No, we didn't really... Um, yeah, there, uh, yeah. yeah, there was a little bit more. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because you can't... Listen, you can't... You didn't just wake up one day and you knew all this truth, man. Uh. That did not happen. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. right. uh, First Timothy 5 and 17 says, Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honour, especially they who labour in, in the word and doctrine. Uh, oh. For the scripture saith, Thou shalt not muzzle the ox that treadeth out the corn, and the labourer is worthy of his reward. Uh, see? So, so when you, you labour, I, it might be hard work and stuff, but there's going to be a reward at the end, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the problem. Our people want things now, now, now.
we're talking about women today at camp, right? Mm. You know, if, if brothers ain't got, listen, this is not a time to start having a, a high school crush. <laughs> All right? You know what I mean? This is not the time to, you know, for romance. If you got a woman, fair enough, and mm. she's easy to dwell with you. Mm. But if you don't, you don't, man. Mm. You know? And, and you know, if, 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 you know, if you have that feeling or whatever, mm. just, you know, mm. go and get a, 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 a you know, do you got uh, to do, yeah, a prostitute or whatever, and um, pop her and and get that feeling done, and then go home and do the Lord's work, man. Mm. Okay, I've we've seen I've seen two now mm. guys fall out of this truth because of so-called women, man, mm. and they're not worth it, man. Mm. Especially not this caliber of women that mm. we've got now, man. A hundred percent, man. Mm. And it's because they're puffed up. We we put that thing out today. What was it, Jeremiah? The woman's come past the man. I don't know what one is that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is it Jeremiah? Yeah. Because... Okay. Yeah, look it up. Uh, yeah. That, man. Because that's one of the biggest problems. That's why there's no order in our um, nation, man. Mm. So the woman just... Yeah. You know, she just looks at the man like, hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm earning more money than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. need you. Yeah. Fancy a woman telling a man, what do you bring to the table? Like, yeah, that's our... What are you talking to, man? Tyler, yeah, that's like, the, that's the <laughs> wow, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how that's wicked like, this place is, man. Crazy shit. You got that up? Yeah, out of town. You know? Uh, yeah, Jeremiah 31 and 22. It says, How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall come past a man. Mm. There you go, man. And I remember in university, I did HR marketing. And in HR, they said, um, there are only three races in Britain where women earn more than men. Mm. And it was Somalians, Bengalis, and Afro-Caribbeans, which are Israelites, man. Mm. So that shows you we're right at the bottom, man. Mm -hmm. You know? It's as simple as that. So... Really, a, a lot of our people, a lot of our women, man, you have to come in order because you're forwarding. You know that it tells you these Edomites forwarded our affliction. Mm. That's what our, our, some of these women are doing, man. Mm. You know, they're forwarding our affliction and our oppression. They're not really being a help me, as the Bible says. Yeah. So like they want to, they want to, and all the problems that they have, they want to put on on the Israelite man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the men, they yeah. Put on the Israelite man, mm. look, but they want to, they want to look at their fault. They think they're foolish, man. That's why they're walking around calling themselves queens, man. Mm. <laughs> queens and goddesses. Yeah, yeah goddesses. So goddesses. Like, that's yeah. Like, I just want to put that out. That's talking to the ones, you know. Basically, if you don't apply, let it fly, man. Yeah. If, you, if that's not you, then you don't need to worry about. Yeah. You know what, what, what you know what we're saying there, man. Mm, that's shoot. that. That's that coming to America and shit. She's my queen. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's your song. Oh, remember that? Follow the drip. Follow the drip. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you Israelites in America are funny, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's your song. Oh, oh shit! But yeah, read that again. Up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Just lost it. Yeah, it's all good. And that's that's why a lot of women, right? When you come to the truth, they they don't like the idea of shutting up, man. That's mm. why they 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 rather buck up. A lot of them, they know they know what you're saying is true, but it's just yeah. that they don't like their role in the truth which is extremely minimal, okay? Because you want to be teaching. I had this thought yesterday. You men, you want to be in a position of men and teaching, but we brought it out today at camp. 
who should you be teaching? The younger women, you know? Yeah, yeah. To, to, right, to, to be wives, man. To be the keepers of the of the home mm. and stuff. That's that's who you should be teaching, Calm. you know? Calm. But you want to be dabbling. That's that Miriam spirit, you know? Have we not also prophesied to, you know? Yeah. And know. the Lord turned our ass into a leper, man, you know? But yeah, a, lot, a lot of them women believe, man. A lot of them, they really, really know that this is the truth. They just don't want to comply submitting it, sub, and be submissive. That's all it is, man. Yeah. Not a baker. This is a king that she fought for, Charles VII. What would you call a king who slices up his kingdom while others are fighting to unite it for him? Yep. Yeah, and that was a wicked, evil Isn't Israelite king, man. Why would France sign a treaty with Burgundy? I fought to unite all of France. Not to make packs with its bits and pieces. And this is a girl that's barely 18 years old, man. A girl, man. And we know that behind Burgundy those doors, has promised us Paris. He was doing things with our them. beloved capital, and they have agreed to a one-month cessation of conflict. Mm -hmm. Yes, but Philip will use the time to fortify Paris, not to retreat from it. You overstep yourself. It is not your place to question the king's authority. That's it is right. Will that France is united? Not even the king has the right to challenge God's authority. I will strongly counsel this girl or any unenlightened mortal against stating what is or is not God's will. That's right. And what if God speaks for himself? Oh. Your voices. <laughs> Answer me, child. How are we to rely on them? Yep. You can trust experience. Look at, look at this. No, my friend. See? Not yet. Not yet. And this is an Israelite man as well. But perhaps you count too much on your voice. Yep. Good soldiering was as responsible for your successes as any prayers. And I worry one day you will call God's name and charge, and there will be no one there to watch your back. Whoa. That's a deep statement, man. And, and, and it proved to be a prophecy which was correct. No. Keep watching her. Keep watching her. And keep watching what she's saying, man. With this wicked king, man. Your Majesty, let me march on Paris with my brave army of Frenchmen and defend what is rightfully ours. You presume to order the king? Yeah. Not to order. Entreat in the name of God. You presume to speak for God? Not for him, from him. You are perilously close to heresy. <laughs> Become heresy. All heretics believe they speak the truth. That's right. Does that include bishops? Wow. You ask for eternal damnation. That's it. You can tell that that guy was a, a Jake, man. You can tell he's a black man. If she's a heretic, what does that make me? Yep. And you can tell that this guy was wicked. You know? You know, she's talking back to a, 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 a bishop, man. It must Remember, the church was king back then. Truly and that's how wicked she was, man. Paris's only allegiance is with the citizens of yep. Paris. We, the aldermen of this great city, command you to leave us in peace. What's this? Command? <laughs> you dare command Joan the maid? There you go. We will enter Paris by any means. Be warned. The city is well armed. The men of Paris. Yep. Every soldier, merchant, and tailor mm. will rise against you. Don't respond. Leave yourself room. Well, the tailors will put down their needles and take up their swords. The army of God is at hand. There you go, man. That's how you could tell that she was an Israelite woman, man. Yeah. 
Danny. You yeah. know, man. I mean, I remember year, years ago, you know, the guy said, yeah, he goes, he goes um, a lot of our women are with El Blanco, you know. Oh, you know, yeah. Because they can control him. Mm. And that's sometimes true, man. Mm. It's for, so like it's a cut point. Mm. But I, I've seen a lot of things in there. And I find, from what I've seen and read about, that these, these Israelite women are more submissive Mm. Remember, we're under the curses, man. Mm. Yeah, they don't yeah. want to be submissive, so but they'll be submissive to these other nations. Our right. clothes will be ironed, there'll be food on the table. Yeah. You know, she ain't back yeah. uh, back chain because you know why as well. Mm. So they look upon him as a, as a prize, man. Yeah, yeah. We're not a prize to them. Yeah. And Esau has some fucked up fetishes and stuff, and they'll do that shit gladly, mm. you know. But here it is, you just want the the regular shit, you know, the normal shit, and and they they're making a, a living hell to to to. You know, display any sort of submissiveness, man, or do their damn role as a wife. Yeah, it's true. Know? But as, as the brother said, uh, they look at Esau the prize, man, when he's gone up. Huh? Yeah. Got that scripture again. Yeah. But Jeremiah thirty-one and twenty-two he says, "How how long wilt thou go about, or thou backsliding daughter? For that for the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. Mm. A woman shall come past a man. Mm. And that's exactly what we've seen, man. Yeah, that's and that's what's happening, man. Yeah. Go on. Man. Yeah, yeah, go on, go on, go on. So I can, this is what's happening to, to today. There's no kind of, uh, what's the word? Uh, there's no kind of uh, order and structure in the Israelite house. Huh? Mm. It's, 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 it's all over the place, so, mm. you know? Mm. Our, our women have to come correct for their own sake. Mm. You don't understand, you know, I don't think a lot of you women actually understand what's coming, man. Mm. That's right. That's the point. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. You don't really yeah. understand yeah. what is actually coming. We're talking about, I mean, we brought it out today in Isaiah. We forget that. Isaiah 13 and 14, man. Mm. You know? Mm. And bring it out slowly because we're warning you. So, like, what did you call uh, for something? Yeah, Isaiah. Um, did, did you have a scripture before? No, 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 no. Come on. Isaiah. Isaiah 13 and 14. Shut up, man. Isaiah 13. 14 and it shall be as the chase robe and as a sheep that no man take them up yep they shall every man turn to his own people so there everyone's going to turn to their own people so you're going to have to come home man mm -hmm. eventually you're going to have to come home shame face yeah and you're going to call us brother and we're not going to call you we're going to say don't call me brother man all right you got to run to a uh, master and, and let him help you because it says, uh, every man will what? Turn to his own people. They shall every man turn to his own people. Yep. And flee everyone into his own land. See, into their own land. So but th this economic collapse, um, the Bible calls it what? Great, this, uh, great tribulation, mm -hmm. Jacob's trouble. It's going to be so bad, people are going <laughs> to take their tests and fly mm. and, and fly home to look after their own family and their properties. Mm. Okay? So we're warning you about this. What wrong are we doing? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Are we doing anything wrong? No, we're not, man. It's, just, it's destroying their false reality. That's what the wrong is. Like, people don't want to hear the truth. Can't. That old saying goes, the truth hurts, man. The truth hurts, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No, because you be, people are being called out for their wickedness and all the wrongs that, you know, that are being done on this earth. And, it. and, it's, and it's gone so far that you know, people don't even understand that what is what is wrong, man. The scriptures talk about it. Uh, um, uh, uh, Good for evil, uh, good mm. for evil. Uh, uh, wasn't evil and evil for good. Evil for good. good yeah. Yeah. 